Hello, everyone. Welcome to our show today. My name is John Drummond, or Yang Haowen. Hello, 大家好，欢迎各位再度来到 Angie 英文。我是 Angela. We have a great episode for you today with my good friend Wilson Tso, who is known around the Taiwanese community as Doctor Wilson. 犀利 mom 丢没有错。今天呢，我们的来宾不是玩音乐的，也不是模特儿。而是呢，拯救世人的白衣天使邹维之邹医师，人称 Doctor Wilson. My guest today is Taiwanese. He is a doctor, CEO, and founder of Eason Medical and Eason Friend. He is a language lover, an incredibly brilliant mind, a mental health advocate, and so much more. So, everyone, please welcome my good friend, Doctor Wilson. Hello, boom! Let's go, Doctor Wilson. Man, I just that just rings well. That sounds great.、Yes. So, Wilson, if you don't mind, can you share a little bit about kind of your backstory? So,、mm-hmm. a quick as you can, as quick as you can. Yes. Who is Doctor Wilson? 我们这位医师呢，他的背景非常特别哦。怎样个特别法呢？嗯。这个详细内容，待会节目后面我们会继续讲。我在这里呢，就先卖关子一下。不过，待会在这边会先跟大家分享到啊，他不是美国，不是加拿大，也不是英国，而是在捷克布拉格的查理大学念医学的。毕业后，才又回到台湾完成受训，开始职业。那待会大家会听到医生用这个字 practice。你有听到这个字的时候，大家不要误会哈、哦，在这边呢，跟我们熟悉的练习没有关系，而是在表达牙医、医生跟律师等等他们这些考到证照开始职业、开始当医生、当律师的意思。So hi everybody,、um, my name is Wilson.、Uh, people call me Doctor Wilson. I graduated from Charles University in Prague in 2015. Came back to Taiwan and completed my general medicine training, and now currently practicing day to day. So your journey is something I find so beautiful because you are creating this ecosystem of health. And we talked a little bit off air about the fact that there's some bottlenecks, there's、yes. some pain points within、mm-hmm. the medical care system right、mm-hmm. now in Taiwan. So, can you、yeah. share a little bit about what was the inspiration to begin your journey from medicine now into being an entrepreneur with、yes. your company? 接下来，周医生说，几年前在荣总和马街服务的时候，发现医疗体系里面有一个问题，好，就是说，好像，嗯，整个大环境呢、啊，着重的比较是偏健保，好，而不是在民众健康这一块所接收到的教育，好，好像就是蛮重视民众在就医方面的保障，但是呢，在健康教育上就似乎没有那么重。所以想想之后呢，决定踏出白色巨塔，出来跟民众散播健康教育的种子，帮助社会大众呢改善生活习惯，进而预防疾病的发生。等一下，这个字 ，general practitioner， 家庭医师或是一般科医师，好指的呢就是到病人家里或是在自己诊所看病的医生，好，也就是他们常讲的 GP，general practitioner。Right. So when I was a clerk back in 2013 and 14, I had a chance to come back to Taiwan because I was、uh, practicing well, getting trained in in Prague. So I had a chance to come back to Taiwan and then was practicing in Taipei Veteran General Hospital and Taipei Mackay Hospital. So in that time, I I realized one thing is that、um, the current system is medical care rather than healthcare. Like you said earlier, well, before we started the recording, we were focusing to be more reactive. Then proactive. So in that time, I realized a lot of the conditions that people see in the hospital could be prevented. So why are we waiting? You know, we should be in the community. You know, preventing you know hypertension, hyperlipidemia, diabetes. These you know commonly seen medical diseases or obesity even, and these could be done in lifestyle, right? But then, as a physician. I'm not trained to take care of your day-to-day wellness and well-being, but more to be on the treating side and waiting for you to be screwed to to be in the hospital. So that's where the inspiration came from. Yes. Yeah, and I and I love it, and it feels so honest. And、yeah. something we also talked about was this idea of trusting your what was the expression? Their your general practitioner. Yeah, your, general practitioner. Yes. Yeah. So trusting your general practitioner is、yeah. something that we kind of we don't have. As much because、yes. 
you know, within the national healthcare system here in Taiwan, mm -hmm. you can shop around, you can go anywhere. It yeah. costs you not any amount of money, mm -hmm. but at the same time, there you're not building that relationship. Yes. So you're also being honest, helping people understand the kind of holistic picture of their health. Yeah. And now you're also creating these easy to digest little facts and information. Yeah. Is that correct? 再来，医生提到啊，很重要的一点是，改变要从教育开始。To change anything, you need to start with education. 好，所以为了要改善前面我们提到的问题，周医生呢决定要帮助社会大众在健康照护上的认识做一些改变。那要改变，就要从倡导全民健康开始嘛。像例如，他之前就会常在个人网页上发一些跟健康保健相关的文章啦，好，或是在他们的医师团队的网站跟 Instagram 上面，也都有提供一些医疗术语的基本介绍等等。希望呢，可以透过这样子的方式，拉近大家对健康照护、对医疗的距离。Yeah, exactly. Because like with anything, I think I believe that to change anything, you have to start with education. So it comes back to your your startup as well. You know, doing education. So I believe that to to raise awareness is the first step to to make a difference one day. And Uh, instead of saying, "Hey, look, you know, you need to have a primary care doctor right now," we need to start using education and raise awareness of how a a primary care doctor could do for you. So we started.、Uh, well, I personally started as a blogger, just writing general like health awareness articles, and now we we have a site, we have an IG Instagram page that's just generally、um, providing these easy to digest、uh, medical terms and content. Yeah, I I love it. I love it. I can't tell you how thrilled I am to、yeah. to get to meet you because I feel you are doing so many amazing things、mm -hmm. for for the world, but Taiwan specifically. Yeah. So within the the ecosystem of yeah. Eason. Yeah. And I'm saying that correct, Eason. Yeah, Eason, or like we call it Eason. Yeah. Yeah. Can yeah. you share actually about that name? What does、yeah. what does Eason mean to you? 接着医生要来分享他们医疗品牌 Eason 的来由。原来呢，当初其实是用他的英文名字 Wilson 取名，叫做 W N Clinic。后来因为慢慢开始扩大发展嘛，可能也开始有跟其他的医生合作，所以决定来个品牌重建，改叫做 Eason， 就是那个那个 E A S O N， 有没有想说这个名字啊很亲民，有没有？跟医生一样，都是你的好朋友。但后来又觉得这名字好像有点有点无聊，不过跳脱。所以最后索性保留这个医生的发音，因为可以刚好取谐音，表示我们中文的医生。好，但是就是把拼法改成 E S E N。Right. So before、uh, Eason became Eason, it was actually W N Clinic, which is a shorter term for my full name Wilson. So it's like W N. And then eventually it kind of like branch out, and we're kind of rebranding it so that it can, or、well, it could be、uh, a person's name. So it's kind of like your friend Eason. Like E A S O N as someone's friend friend's name, but then E A S O N just kind of boring. So we decided to kind of like tweak it, and then we realized that、um, Eason is actually another you know 谐音 for Eason, which is Eason Eason. So Eason, yeah. yeah, so so that's how it came about. Yeah, I love it. I love it. You have such a creative mind. I can see、mm -hmm. you know you're you're doing so many different things here, and this is building a brand now, and、mm -hmm. you're you're doing so much and. I love that. So,、yeah. within that,、mm -hmm. what would you say is kind of the main focuses?、Yes. Before I, you know, I love to ask here on NG Ingwen、yeah. some future focus questions. Yeah. But if you can, maybe take us through right now. Yeah. What are you focusing on building within the community here in Taiwan? 再来，周医生提到啊，现阶段的这个目标呢，是希望可以把这个基层照护 （primary care）。建立起来，带到社区中，帮助社会大众呢，更认识跟生活息息相关的一些医疗知识。那除了这部分以外啊，他们在整个健康照护生态系统的建立上也下了很多功夫，让民众呢可以很容易就去取得需要的资讯。等一下这句 ，People from all walks of life， 意思呢是各界人士。来自各行各业的人，像周医生他们做这个网站啊，上面一些提供的资讯，对，不管是做哪一行的人都很受用。Right, so we're focusing on building a primary care community, and our platform is all focused about lifestyle medicine and lifestyle-related medical problems. So all the contents we have now is about things that you experience day to day. For women, it might be 
you know, contraception, it might be menstrual pain. For guys, it might be erectile dysfunction. It might be hair loss. You might be feeling, you know, fatigue, right? So for us now, it's really on the content side, it's building all these lifestyle related uh, issues and solutions. And for the whole ecosystem, we're focusing on um, actually completing the rest of the bits, which include physical space and physical experience and our software, which is our digital experience. So this is what we're focusing on now. So, so great. And I'm just yeah. so excited because it's going to be so useful for so many different people, mm -hmm. I can tell, from all yeah. walks of life. Yeah. And so you, you touched on something right there. You have a hardware side, yeah. you have a software side, yeah. and then you also have the a content side. Content yeah. side. So mm -hmm. you're building this kind of triangle yeah. of access points. Exactly, I access love points. That. I, I love that. that. I love, also love the way you put it, access points. Yeah, is the, is the yeah. way we talk about it. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. And so thinking then about the future of yeah. these three access points yeah. of this triangle, mm -hmm. what is something you want to build more in, let's say, 2022 and beyond? 那在建立了这样的一个健康照护生态系统之后，周医生和他团队啊，计划成为全台最知名、最值得信赖的一个保健品牌。好，甚至希望最后呢，也可以把版图扩展到各地的华人地区。那其中呢，他们主要在发展的一块叫做生活形态医疗 （lifestyle medicine）。好，就是以改变生活形态这样的一个方式呢，去治疗一些因为生活习惯而产生的疾病，像是肥胖啦、obesity 跟人人惧怕的这个三高。那当然，他们也是希望这个辛苦建立起来的保健品牌，可以像网购龙头亚马逊那样子，随时随地呢都可以卖东西给客人。但是就现阶段而言呢？还是以教育大众为主，希望先来解决代谢问题，先把过胖和三高解决掉了，降低了心血管疾病风险之后，再来想其他的。那这边有几个比较难的医学相关术语，我们来认识认识：心血管疾病风险 （cardiovascular risk）、代谢症候群 （metabolic syndrome）。好，还有这个三高 （high blood sugar、high blood pressure）。High blood lipid. So、um, our our goal for the next two to three years is actually become to become like the the most well known well wellness and health brand. So under this umbrella, you obviously have these triangle. So we want to be become the the most trusted healthcare brand by the end of 2023, and hopefully branch out of Taiwan and then get into、uh, Chinese speaking Southeast Asia or even around the States as well. So at this point, we're really focusing on lifestyle prevention. We call it lifestyle medicine. So it's all about like the first problem that we want to solve right now, which affects two thirds around the world is obesity and、um, just Hypertension and hyperlipidemia and、uh, diabetes. These these are the com like the field we're really focusing on in terms of our medical service. But for our content, is really just like、um, anything about lifestyle stuff. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I、yeah. love it. You yeah, you have these macro goals and these、yes. micro goals, and yeah, just I'm just such a fan of who you are already. And I just <laughs> right, thank you very much. Yeah, <laughs> beautiful. Well, thinking about kind of furthering. Talking about you with these triangles, these、yeah. access points for the company, but、mm -hmm. I need to actually see a、yeah. practitioner. Is、exactly. there is there anything that you are building within that space? Yeah, so、um, it would be great if we can be Amazon, sell you anything, anytime, anywhere, right? But then Amazon started as a bookshop, so we had to we have to have a focus right now because we can't we can we can't sell you everything anytime anywhere. So our focus right now is actually on metabolic syndrome. And obesity, and some of you might not have heard of metabolic syndrome, but it includes just general like weight of being overweight, and three more things include having high blood pressure, high blood lipid, and、uh, high blood sugar. So altogether, it's called metabolic syndrome, and this will increase your cardiovascular risk in the future. So our initial target is on obesity and just solving this problem for you through lifestyle management through. Possible medication and IV drips, supplements, and give you a holistic approach to this problem. So、yeah. this is our focus right now. Beautiful,、yeah. beautiful,、mm -hmm. and yeah, like you said, the holistic approach and having、mm -hmm. this kind of healthy lifestyle.、Mm -hmm. Awesome, Wilson. Well, do you mind if we shift a little bit into、mm -hmm. kind of the story of your language too?、Yeah. Because you were medically trained, I believe, in Prague. Is that yeah, correct? Yeah, hundred percent. So yeah, so can you take us through a little bit of your language journey? 
。接着医生讲到呢，他虽然是在台湾长大，但其实家里后来移民到南非，所以他的英文才会带有一些那个南非腔，完全被这样猜中。那虽然说他的英文完全是在台湾跟美籍老师学的，念的也是国际学校。但他的英文表达能力啊，其实是一直到在布拉格念医学院的时候才渐渐有起色。因为在那样的一个国际环境里，让他每天都不得不用英文沟通。加上那个时候室友是一个很受不了他美式英文的英国人，常常呢都要他改成英式说法，所以也就让他在那边的就学期间练就了一口英式英文。Yeah, my language journey. So, grew up here, born and raised in Taiwan.、Um, I actually have a background of my family moving to South Africa. So, yeah, I thought there was a bit of an Afrikaans accent. <laughs>、yeah. Oh my god! Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. So,、it. so part of my family lives in South Africa. So,、um, I have a bit of a Afrikaans-ish thing going on there. Because of I of my background, yeah. But then I actually learned English completely in Taiwan. So you know, a lot of my、uh, English teachers back back when I was younger were actually Americans.、Mm -hmm. So I was I was、uh, born and raised here. You know, went to local school here, and then I went to an international school here in Taipei、uh, called Dominican International School. Yeah. So I went to DIS,、um, and then basically that kind of like grew my English ability as time goes on. But I I would say that.、Uh, Just in general, my English wasn't really that good before I went to Prague.、Uh, it actually improved like drastically because of my just general use in Prague. So my flatmate is、uh, a British guy, so I live with him every day. He he hated my Asian American accents. He's like. No, not cookies,、uh, biscuits. You know, not going to the toilet. It's going to the loo.、Uh, <laughs> not tomato, tomato. You know that kind of stuff. So, like word by word,、uh, not water, but like water. You know that kind of thing going on. So,、uh, bit by bit, my accent transformed.、Uh, the way I speak transformed, and then my accent kind of like just developed from there. And because of general use, because I was forced to speak English daily, I think that really changed how I. Kind of my my English ability because you just have to use it. Yeah, you just no way for you to be like, oh, 这边一点点中文，那边一点点中文 There's no way. I have to just speak English. So yeah, when you have no expression, you have to find expression to say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and that is you know kind of just that you hit the ground running and、yeah. and you're like, all right. And I yeah, love that your、yeah. roommate, ah,、oh, so stubborn, <laughs> so stubborn, <laughs> but actually so helpful in, in that、yeah. way. But yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. yeah, cool. So, can you think about too then, as you have came back now to Taiwan? Obviously,、yeah. you're speaking Mandarin every、yes. day with business pitches, with、yes. building the system. But a lot of your focus within the Eastern ecosystem、mm -hmm. is around bilingual products and、yes. services. Is that、mm -hmm. correct? 大家如果等一下有机会去他们网站看看的话。会发现，在网站底下有个方便的语言转换功能，可以让浏览访客自由选择中英界面。不过一开始，他们其实有顾虑，说这个 e a s o n 品牌如果用英文呈现的话，怕会有人觉得他们是在炫耀，在唠英文当假 A B C 什么之类的。但完全就不是那样啊！英文真的就是他每天生活中沟通必用的语言，而且周遭的人也同样是有类似语言背景的。如果他们团队用双语的方式设计品牌，也真的不为过。更何况英文是国际语言，如果想要让产品踏出台湾，这个放眼世界的话，那势必是要用英文的嘛，对不对？所以后来整个网站服务和品牌走向，就决定以中英双语呈现。我们赶快听。A lot of it is definitely focused on bilingual products.、Uh, Initial, I didn't want to do that initially because obviously we're here in Taiwan, and then you know there's a certain perception on like Jia A B C and like oh you're trying to you know look better than me, you know. But that's not the point. It's just that my background actually is completely bilingual. So it just happens to be my friend circle are mostly people who are bilingual. So it's very natural for me to create this like English friendly environment where we provide both. Uh, languages going on in in our services. Yeah, 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 and that's so true. And it's something、mm -hmm. so ah,、uh, it's such a an unfortunate thing with that Jia ABC. You know,、mm -hmm, like that、mm -hmm. that vibe of like、mm -hmm. people trying to be better, but no,、yeah. you know, it's it's a it's a global mindset. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's、and、just that, how it is. Yeah. It's just how it yeah, is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you know, you are thinking 
long term you have these macro goals of mm -hmm. creating this company to to expand all over the world and yeah. so yeah, yeah keep on keeping on thank you very much yeah and so thinking about too a little bit about your language within your development within yes. the medical field yeah how were you at that time with studying in Prague, studying mm -hmm. medicine? It yeah. was that all just full on in English as well, right? 接着周医生说啊，当时在布拉格念书的时候，老师虽然有用英文授课，但有部分其实也是用捷克文教，而且他们讲英文也会有一点捷克腔。所以为了要完全听懂上课内容，要融入当地文化，他就必须要去学着适应捷式英文。但不只是捷捷克口音而已哦，还有来自欧洲各国同学的腔调跟他们的表达方式等等，而且在适应之余还要学捷克文，总就是一波未平一波又起。然后适应语言的同时还要学医，哎，真的真的不是一般人做得来的，太厉害了。这边讲的捷克人跟捷克文或是捷克的英文都同样是 check。好，只是拼法比较特殊，听起来好像是检查东西的那个 check c h e c k， 但其实它是 c z e c h check， 很特别吧 ？Right, so in our course is actually bilingual, but in Czech and English. Yeah, right, right. So that that's another very different experience for me. So most of our professors obviously they're Czechs. So They they're fluent in English, but then have their accents. So one hard one of the hardest thing for me in the beginning is to actually pick up another accent. So uh, when I was in Europe,、um, I had to get used to、uh, speaking to people from different countries using different expression, using their own accent dialect, but then all in English. For example, like I will have a Greek friend who will be like, "Eh, la malaka," you know, you don't know where to go, and you know, like that kind of way of speaking, and then they they. And I have like Italian friends, French friends. I have Northern European friends from Sweden and Norway, and just kind of、um, a mixture of different things. So for me to be able to communicate and、uh, go on with them, that's that. That's actually another experience. So and, and on top of that is that I have to learn a full new language, like Czech, so I can totally understand how people feel as a foreigner to become coming to Taiwan. You know, learn Chinese and. Get involved in a new culture, that type of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So you're fluent in Czech as well. Uh, I understand a little Czech. Uh, my Czech is not bad, but I understand a little. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. And and I love how you mentioned that point too about understanding different accents when、yeah. we're all trying to speak English. Yeah. You know, there can be so many different dialects、mm -hmm. of, and accents right there. Yeah. And you had to, your brain is just like, oh yeah. man. Yeah. Here we go.、Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's very beautiful. Thank、yeah. you for sharing about、yeah. that. Yeah. Wilson, it's been a pleasure to have you on the show.、Mm -hmm. You are a a brilliant mind. You、mm -hmm. are a global thinker, and、mm -hmm. it's it's a pleasure to、Thank、to、you. get to have you here.、Mm -hmm. And a question I love to end the show with is、yeah. if you could go. Back and talk to a younger Wilson,、mm -hmm. pre Doctor Wilson. Right? Would there be any advice you give yourself about language or life?、Mm -hmm. Anything? 最后，医生要呼吁大家，我们内心的健康呢，真的真的很重要。为什么特别讲这一块嘞？因为他自己其实算是一个事事要求完美的人。好，曾经呢，因为现实跟理想差距太大，无法达到自己的期望，而对自己太过严苛，变得很挫折，很失望。好，那不管是谁，长期下来这样子的一个心态，其实很容易就会对一个人的内心造成很大的影响，很大的那个伤害。像他之前就是因为这样子，加上又不断面临学英文啦，然后适应新环境、新文化，还要用陌生的外语在外地念医学院等等的挑战。好，因为这些种种原因呢，而得了忧郁症，现在是好了，走出来了。不过，医生希望借由今天这样的一个机会呢，跟大家呼吁：心里如果有一些状况，真的要去找人聊聊，要去把问题处理掉。那待会这句片语 “take a toll on someone” 可以用来表达某件事对某人造成很大的伤害、很大的影响。好 ，“take a toll on someone”， 马上来听访谈最后这段分享吧。So I think I want to touch point on、um, just mental health. I think growing up, I was、um, I was a perfectionist myself, but I was not hardworking enough when I was younger. And with that contrast of reality and expectation, it is easy for one to beat yourself up. And that sort of、um, mindset and journey in this、uh, process of becoming the person you want to become 
can can create a great toll on yourself. So a lot of the people out there, even including myself, um, will you know experience times when you face obstacles of understanding who you are, and this kind of obstacles can result in depression, can result in anxiety, and I think this sort of mental health related issues, especially in Chinese speaking world, is not spoken about, and this might be part of the journey of you learning a new language. So I think. Me personally, sharing this will be very suitable because I've experienced times when I was a Chinese speaker learning English, hopping onto an international school, and then getting beaten up in terms of like 挫折感 on learning English and then being in that environment. Then the next step is going to medical school and absorbing information in harder English slash Czech. And being exposed to all people from different worlds and walk of life, and I think the journey is hard. Mental health is going to be harder. I was personally depressed before. I just want to let people out there know that、um, you know you can conquer this. You know, you just have to believe in yourself, and then who you are today might not be who you are or who you want to be one day. But then you know you will be able to get there. Yeah, and I think I just want to share this with anyone out there because. As much as I'm not the person, full person I want to become, I know I am on the way. Well, well said, and、mm-hmm. I can see the the armor that you wear, and it,、mm-hmm. yeah, it's it's so many journeys that you've been through, so many struggles that you have overcame, and、mm-hmm. it's it's a pleasure to get to see a little glimpse of your your life and your journey. Yes, and I wish you nothing but success, and I hope if there's anything I can do in the future to、uh, aid this,、mm-hmm. I would be happy to. Right, thank you very much, yeah, John. Yeah, absolutely. So. Yeah. Can、uh, you share maybe a little bit about the social media platforms、oh, where right, people、sure. can dive into more of your work? Yeah. So、um, for anyone out there、uh, who's interested,、uh, our social media is on Instagram mainly.、Uh, it's called Eason Friend. So the social media handle is at Eason Friend. E S E N Friend. So you'll be able to find us out there.、Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. And、mm-hmm. you have a o- whole ecosystem on the at Eason something, yeah, right? Yeah. At Eason Friend. At Eason Medical. At Eason Fitness. Eason Nutrition. That's what we're building on now. Beautiful.、Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful.、Mm-hmm. Well, it's a pleasure, Wilson,、yeah, and pleasure. we will talk to you very soon. All right. Thank you very much, John. Thank、All、you.、Right. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Bye, bye. Peace. All right. Well, that is our NG Ingwen show for today. We hope everyone enjoyed listening to that. You can connect with us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and now Spotify. You can search NG Ingwen, or you can search on IG NG English I C R T. And don't forget to tune in every Wednesday morning from 6:30 to 7, and Wednesday night from 9 to 9:30. We'll catch you on the next episode. Bye bye. 好啦，今天的节目就到这边告一段落啦。感谢各位的收听，别忘了订阅我们的 Spotify 还有 YouTube 频道哦。那喜欢我们节目的话，也要记得到 Instagram 到 IG 上追踪我们哦。如果各位有什么其他问题是想要问来宾的，也请欢迎在底下留言告诉我们。我们一定会想办法帮你问到手。好啦，那就下周在空中相会喽，拜拜。